Welcome back to this new tutorial. Today we're gonna create a simple cave scene with some textures and our pizza delivery guy. Let's have some fun. Okay, here we are in a fresh planner scene today. We don't want to use the cube. We will start with deleting this one by pressing X and delete. Let's go ahead with Shift and A and let's go to Mesh and Plane. Let's change the scale of our plane. So let's select this one, press N. I want to go with 15 by 60. And now we want to bring in here a landscape. So let's press Shift and A, go to Mesh and Landscape. If you don't have this here in the menu, just go to Edit, References, and search for Landscape and enable this one here. Okay, Shift A, Landscape. We want to leave all the settings here. But we want to change now here the dimensions. So let's go with 6 by 15.3 by 15.5. We want to make a little curvy, curvy cave. So um, the rock here has to be a little bit more bended. So what we can do now is we want to go here into the modifiers and add a deform, simple deform modifier. And let's go here now to bend change the angle to 90 and change the axis to Y. Now we have here a little bend in the rock or landscape. And yeah, the next thing is we want to add here a material. So let's bring in here the shade editor. Let's make a new one. And this is the material rock. For this one, we want to use some textures. So let's select this one. We want to use here the Node Wrangler plugin. As always, if you don't have this enabled, search for Wrangler and enable this one. Now let's go to Add Principle Setup. Yeah, we want to use here the rock texture. So let's select now the color, the displacement, the normal GL and the roughness by pressing the control button. And now let's go to Principle Texture Setup. And now everything is already set up here. Let's go to Material Preview. And we can see that this one looks not really good. We want to change here now from UV to object. So let's change this. This looks already better, uh, but I want to improve here a little bit the normal map. So, and that's everything for our rock uh, here. So let's put this one into a collection. So press M, new collection and rock. Now we can hide this and we want to add here some instances. But at first I want to bring in here our character for today. This is our pizza delivery guy here. I put a link into the description for this guy here. Let's leave him here at this point. Now we can adjust here our camera. So let's select the camera, press zero. And we want to bring in here a second window. So we can see here on the left side uh, through our camera. So let's change here now the coordinates of our camera. Let's go with 0 by minus 4.34 by 0.5. Let's go with 115 by 0 by uh, 0. And we want to change here the settings in the camera. So let's go to panoramic. Nothing happens because we have to change here now to rendered. And we have to go here into render engine and change to cycles, use GPU compute. And let's go back to the camera and we want to go with 14.7 in the lens. We can bring here the PESPA 2 up to one. So everything, nothing will disturb here our view. Now we can start to build our scene. So let's bring in here a rock instance. Let's put this one here to the side. So let's go with minus 3.5. And as we can see, we have a little bit of intersections here. So let's put this a little bit down to minus 0.05. Now we can duplicate this by pressing Shift and D. And let's go to 0.35, rotate this here to 180. Now we have to duplicate this once again and bring this a little bit back. So let's go here with 12.8. And maybe we will put this a little bit here into the back. So maybe do something like this. And we can see here the end of our rock. And 
yeah so maybe let's scale this one a little bit up here and maybe a little bit here in this shape here maybe just something like this so this looks not so uh, duplicated here same thing for this one let's duplicate this with <laughs> with shift and d bring this to the other side 180 and bring this a little bit here in front okay that's our little cave here for today uh, maybe let's bring in here some light we have already we have already here a light but uh, the main light should come from uh, your yeah, emission cube or from from a glowing cube so let's bring in here uh, this cube yeah this one is three in the x 0.5 in the y and 11 in the height let's put this a little bit back here now to 13.4 and 5 in the height okay now let's make a new material uh, light box or something like this okay we don't need uh, any color so let's put this down but we need some emission and let's leave it on white and we can bring up this to seven so now we are having here a little bit of light in our cave maybe let's add here another one in the back so let's duplicate this and i want to put this here nearly the center so let's go with minus point four and 19.5 and we can rotate this in minus 90 degrees so we have a little bit of the back here and yeah we are in a cave so let's change here the color of the background to black here yeah, and the next thing is here the floor so let's select our plane we want to make a new material let's make this black and i want to change the roughness down to two so we have a little bit of watery stuff here going on yeah for some detail here in the foreground we can add another landscape so let's go with mesh and landscape and we want to leave the settings and now we want to add here the landscape so let's change this to 15.2 by 40.2 by 0.334 and let's go with minus 2.1 in the X location, minus 1.4 in the Y, and a little bit down, minus 0.07. So this one goes a little bit down in the water. Now we can add here our um, rock material, but we want to use here some displacement. Let's duplicate this one by pressing on the two here. And we have to go now in the settings of our material and scroll all the way down to settings and change the displacement from bump only to displacement bump. You can see that uh, this one goes a little bit up here, but we can't see any water here. So what we have to do now is go here into the displacement and change the scale down to point four. Now we're having here some details in the front. Yeah, this only works because we have a high subdivision of our landscape, as we can see here now. Um, yeah. Okay, and for our light, which is here in the scene, so let's check this one out here. This is in the scene, and I want to put this nearly in front of our cube, so we have a little bit more light here inside of our cave so uh, let's bring this to zero by eight by two let's increase uh, the power to five thousand but i want to use here the radius of the softball off so let's go with 3.7 and as we can see here now we have a reflection of our light here in the water if we don't want to have the reflection here so let's go here into the object settings visibility and change the glossiness off and now we don't see the reflection here and yeah that's it for um, this camera view I want to add another a little bit more interesting 
we can duplicate this one here so let's press shift and d and select our camera yeah let's change this now to uh, 1.6 by minus 5.8 by 0.7 rotation is 107 by 0 by 23 yeah and we can see that we're having here a little bit of a dark hole so yeah we can easily duplicate this one by pressing shift and d and now the y button and bring this here a little bit down and now we have a little bit more detail and the last thing here for some effects we can use here the compositing so let's uh, change really quick here compositor use notes and i want to add a little bit of glow here inside let's search for glare or the glare note and put this here in between we have to change here on the left side um, the compositor to always or camera the always button is when you're moving around without your camera you can see the effects and on camera it's only visible on the camera now let's change the streaks here now to fog glow and i want to put this here on high and we can bring down or bring up the threshold to something like six or a little bit more to you but i like to have something like this here that's it for uh, the glow here if we want to have some depth here a little bit more depth we can add here a cube let's change here now the dimensions to 40 and we want to make a new one let's delete this principle by pressing x shift a and let's search for a volume or a volume scatter bring this one into the volume let's bring this to grayish color here and i like to use here 0.1 so we have a little bit of fog here and bring this one up here up to 0.9 so this is um the scene with uh, some fog here um yeah you can choose if you want to have some fog or not and for the final rendering i want to use the max samples of 1024 but i want to increase the min samples so we have a little bit more samples here in this fog area if you um, disable the fog um, you don't need so much samples it will get less noisier here in this region but if you want to use this i used here the noise threshold of 0.84 that was a good um, good balance between a um, little bit of grain here but um, that was okay for me here so you can decide if you want to use some fog in this scene or not and yeah that was uh, this tutorial and i hope you like it and learn something if you want to support me subscribe to my channel like this video or check out my gumroad or blender market See you there and bye.